I want to skip Eliyahu, Elijah, and I'll come back to him because I want to read something out of Scripture. I don't want to just go talk all the time. I want to read something out of Scripture. But Messiah. Ladies and gentlemen, Messiah is the greatest prepper that, that there ever is. It ever will be throughout all eternity. I am nothingness. I am a speck in space compared to him and the Most High. Messiah, Yahushua, helped create this planet. He helped found this planet. He came and died for our sins, taught us the right path, spoke on behalf as an emissary of the Father to how we should keep the Torah, said that the law was never done away with and that we should be obedient. And through him, Yahushua plainly said it in Yohanan 14 and 6, No one comes, he said, I'm the way, the truth, and life. No one comes to the Father except through me. Okay? So he also said, that I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you into myself, that where I am, there you may be also. Since so see, there's a, the greatest prepper of all time, and he's coming back very soon. Now, I want to talk to you about Elijah. I want, in my generation, to have the spirit of Eliyahu in me. I pray the royal Kakadesh of the Father in heaven. I pray that he pours it out upon our final generation, that we have a spirit in us burning like Eliyahu, because Eliyahu is one of the greatest men I've ever read in Scripture. He had guts, ladies and gentlemen. He'd look you in the face and tell you just what thus saith Yahweh. And he didn't care. Man, he's a one-man army. I mean, just a smack-down machine, all right? And I want to read to you a passage from, El, uh, it's from second or First Kings, I'm sorry, chapter 18 and verse 17. And read the whole chapter, but I'm just going to start right here and read this through real quick. And it says, And it came to be when Ahab saw Eliyahu, that Ahab said to him, Is that you, O disturber of Israel? And he answered, I have not disturbed Israel, but you and your father's house, and that you have forsaken the commands of Yahweh, and you have followed the Baals. And now send and gather all Israel to me on Mount Carmel, the 450 prophets of Baal, and the 400 prophets of Asherah, who eat at Jezebel's table. And Ahab then sent for all the children of Israel and gathered the prophets on Mount Carmel. And Eliyahu came to all the people and said, How long would you keep hopping between two opinions? If Yahweh is Elohim, follow him. And if Baal, follow him. But the people answered not a word, him not a word. And Eliyahu said to the people, I alone am left, a Navi of Yahweh. But the prophets of Baal are 450 men. Now let them give us two bulls and let them choose one bull for themselves and cut it in pieces and lay it on the wood, but light no fire. And I, I prepare the other bull and shall lay it on the wood, but light no fire. And you shall call on the name of your mighty one, and I, I call on the name of Yahweh. And the Elohim who answers by fire, he is Elohim. So all the people answered said, the word is good. And Eliyahu said to the prophets of Baal, choose one bull for yourselves and prepare it first, for you are many. And call on the name of your mighty one, but light no fire. And so they took the bull which was given them and prepared it and called on the name of Baal from morning evening, even until noon, saying, O Baal, answer us. But there was no voice, and no one answered. And they leaped about the altar which they had made, and it came to be at noon that Eliyahu taunted them and said, Cry aloud, for he is a mighty one. He is meditating, or he is busy, or he is on a journey, or it could be that he is asleep and has to be awakened. And they cried aloud and cut themselves according to their ruling with knives and spears until the blood gushed out on them. And it came to be when midday was passed and they prophesied until the time of bringing the offering. But there was no voice and no one answered and no one paying attention. And then Eliyahu said unto all the people, Come closer to me. And all the people came closer to him and he repaired the altar of Yahweh that was broken down. And Eliyahu took twelve stones according to the number of the tribes of the sons of Jacob to whom the word of Yahweh had come, saying, Israel is your name. And with the stones he built an altar in the name of Yahweh, and he made a trench around the altar large enough to hold two sam of seed. And he arranged the wood and cut the bull in pieces and laid it on the wood and said, Fill four jars with water and pour it on the burnt offering and on the wood. And then he said, Do it a second time. And they did it a second time. And he said, Do it a third time. And they did it a third time. And the water flowed around the altar and he filled the trench with water too. And it came to be at the time of bringing the offering that Eliyahu the Navi came near and said, Yahweh Elohim of Abraham, Yitzhak and Israel, let it be known today you are Elohim of Israel, and I, your servant, have done all these matters by your word. And answer me, O Yahweh, answer me, and let this people know that you are the Yahweh Elohim, and you shall turn their hearts back to you again. And then the fire of Yahweh fell, 
and consumed the burnt offering and the wood and the stones and the dust and it licked up the water that was in the trench and all the people saw and fell on their faces and said, Yahweh, he is Elohim. Yahweh, he is Elohim. And Eliyahu said to them, Seize the prophets of Baal. Do not let one of them escape. So they seized them and Eliyahu brought them down to the Wadi Kishon and slew them. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I am looking forward to the seven trumpets of Revelation. Don't make no mistake about it, I have feared my heart for them. But I'm trusting the Most High will watch over me and my family, my neighbors, my community, and my friends. But for all those false prophets, me and many others are a few in number that preach the post-tribulation doctrine. But there are many who teach the pre-tribulation doctrine lie. And when this time comes that the seven trumpets start, and all these false prophets, all these false teachers, and I don't count myself a prophet, and, and I never will. But uh, unless Master Yahweh speaks to me someday and tells me so, but I've never, never been spoken to as the prophets old. But I know I have their word. I have, and make sure to get you a Hallelujah Scripture version, Hallelujah Scriptures version Bible. It's a wonderful Bible. That's what I just read that out of. And when that time comes, all these false prophets are going to be shown. It's going to be shown who serves Master Yahweh and who serves Baal, Asherah, and all this other falseness. And all these ministers that say, God said this, God said that. Who's your God? My Elohim is Yahweh, the only true creator. All right? And I know that his word says these things are going to come to pass. So you just remember that when these things come to pass, it will be an easy, easy thing to sift the wheat who serves Master Yahweh and who has been serving uh, Lucifer and his lies. Okay, because when that great falling away comes, like that video I talked about right there, is when that great falling away comes, many of those are going to go to the papacy. They're going to go to fallen Protestantism and Babylon and go knee deep in it. Okay, all the little lies that's made up along the way and all the little corrections after the trumpet start. Well, we might have been wrong about this or that, but my message has never changed. And those of us that preach post-tribulation rapture doctrine, the, those of us that say these things are going to happen and then Messiah is going to come back, we're going to have a lot of people willing to listen when that time comes. But not beforehand, but when that time comes, and I'm looking forward to that day because just like Eliyahu, I'm going to mock those people that taught lies, and I'm going to preach the truth with all I can. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope this has been a blessing to you. Keep the faith. Don't stop prepping, and we'll hopefully make it through and see the glorious return of Messiah and that wonderful kingdom of gold soon. So until we see you again here at Seven Trumpets Prepper Channel, I hope you have a most blessed day in Yahushua name.